the, rea the unvarnished reality of being a post 9-11 military wife and there are tremendous joys and lots of excitement but there's some significant <coughs> Challenges. It's just you have the deployment roller coaster ride, and then you have the, for me, entering into the military community, you know, as a newbie army wife, and the challenges inherent in that. And then also, you know, how do you deal with something like, like Abu Ghraib as a thinking, feeling American? What does, you know, what is the response going to be to something like that that any military family member would take would be shocking? You know, you don't want to just, you know, it's not a get-along deal. You really have to feel like you can support your country and your service member. And sometimes there are moments of incredible doubt. And I didn't want to be dismissive of those particular challenges because civilians are very, very curious about how military families live today. And I'm, I take that curiosity. Uh, I, I'm not cynical about it, so I want to tell them the truth. And the reward for that is... A lot of grateful readers, and I couldn't be happier with how it's being received by the people who are reading it. Now, you had written another memoir, two books back before this, right. so you, so you have some experience, sort of like plumbing your emotional depths, but it, it feels like you really kind of pushed yourself harder here than you've ever have. As true a story, true story. I mean, part of it is you just get more experience as a writer, and part of it is, you know, the, the army is this tr huge institution, and there's. A lot of people in the civilian world who have no connection to it whatsoever these days. So I really took it very seriously that this is bringing to my story to people who know nothing about this world at all. So I wanted to make sure that to the extent that you can get your own story right, that I did. And what it means by getting it right is not holding back. And it was challenging for me because it's very easy to be like, yay, flags and cake baking and cookouts and red, white, and blue. And, I am all those things, but there's also been some periods in my life as an army wife that have not been joyous. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And um, 